This is a tutorial about CNC motion slash CNC base uh, for mill. Uh, we will start by uh, checking a few things that needs to be correct. First thing, if we click on setup, we want the units to be in metric. Make sure it is in metric. You can see here your dimensions in millimeters. Second thing is here in the verify window, you want to make sure that your workpiece and your verify window are the same. In order to do this, the part in the verify window can be changed by right clicking on this window and clicking on setup. And in the stock, you have to write to insert the dimensions of X, Y, and Z of the workpiece. Here I have a workpiece uh, with dimensions of X90, Y50, and Z15. What is also important, the initial tool position to be at X0, Y0, and Z10. So these are the two things that you have to do in the beginning of your work. Make sure that you're in millimeters and that your stock and verify are the same size. Okay. I'm working on CNC motion. You will probably working on CNC base, sometimes in CNC motion. The only difference between CNC base and CNC motion is if I click on window preparation screen, I have here the actual machine in graphic simulation 3D image, which I can zoom in, zoom out, and I can uh, work with this machine to show you what's going on in your real machine later if you need to. First thing that we do when we run the software is we have to close the door of the mill. We're talking about the bench mill 6000 at, at the moment. So I'll close the door. So the door is closed now. And the first thing that we do is we home the machine. So what you have to do is click on home and then click on home again. Now the machine has been homed and you can actually, if I zoom in here, you can move <coughs> your machine on X axis, Y axis and Z axis. You can see the machine. But again, this is CNC motion and we don't want to concentrate on CNC motion. So I'll get this window out of the way and we will concentrate on CNC base, which doesn't have the 3D image. I have prepared a few windows for you. This is my stock, my raw material. As we said before, my dimensions are X 90 and Y 50. And this is a side view of the Z. It is 15 millimeters now. The 0x, 0y, and 0z is marked as this circle here. From here we start counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 until we get to 90 millimeters. And again from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 until we get to 50 millimeters. And on the side view, the top of the stock is our 0. When we take the mill, this is the mill and we go into the raw material, we will go into Z minus something. Okay, so this is our stock. Now the first tutorial, we will have this stock and we will insert uh, five dots on this square. So I guess you will have to get a checkered white paper with a cross uh, with a like a maths paper and you will have to draw your workpiece on these as 90 and 50 and then put five dots as marked here position one which is this position is in x10 and y10 if we go x10 and y10 we make a dot here next position is at x80 and y10 
next position is at x80 y40 next position is this one x45 this is my x45 and y45 and the last position is here is x10 y40 after marking these positions on your sheet we will go and make the G code to make this uh, shape which is all linear and I choose this shape because you can do this with one sweep of the uh, mill without uh, getting the mill out of the raw material so this is our goal to make this shape in the workpiece so I go back to my CNC base CNC motion and I click on new part and then we have this is our uh, program one worksheet and here we write the G code now the first line of the program I will write it now G90 M3 S2000 now I will make a comment which will give you exactly what every command is and G90 is absolute coordinates which means everything refers to zero so if this will be a my this is my workpiece my zero is here at this point and every move I make is regarding to these x0, y0 and z0 next line I make another comment is m3 which is spindle on turn on the spindle and the next comment is s s is rpm what is the rounds per minute that the spindle will, will turn so we've got g90 m3 s2000 is the first line this is called a block and it's not important uh, if you write it with the spaces without spaces if you write the s2000 m3 g90 the machine uh, reads it as a block and it doesn't matter uh, where the position of the g code is now next line is g0 x0 y0 z10 here as you see i did not make any spaces so the writing comes out black now if i'll add if i'll add spaces you will see some color coding where the g zero is blue and the z is 10 why z is 10 because z is the most important coordinate because if we go we down too much we can hit something so you look at your z all the time so this comment this line or this block is i'll make a comment g0 is rapid movement and it x y uh, final coordinate final coordinates and of course uh, I can add Z here these are the final coordinates where I want the mill to go so the mill will move to my x0 y0 and Z 10 next line is we go to our first position if you remember from the drawing it is at x10 y10 so we go here and we say x10 y10 now uh, make a space as you see I did not write g0 because the software uh, usually uh, not usually all the time remembers the last command that it is in which is d0 I can add here g0 but it's just a waste of time so now I go to x0 sorry x10 y10 and then we go to x uh, sorry z2 
and we can at any time make a simulation here in the verify window which will I will increase now and this is our verify icon if I click on verify and verify you will see that the mill now is at x10 y10 and z2 now the next line will be g1 z minus 2 f uh, 100 and I'll make a comment because this is a new G code G1 is linear linear movement and the Z minus 2 is the final coordinate it goes into the raw material and the last thing is F F is feed in millimeters per minute which as opposed to what we had here the s is the rounds per minute here it is the movement of the tool in millimeters millimeters per minute so i'm going from z2 to z minus 2 with a feed of 100 millimeters per minute now if i verify this you will see the end mill is now in the raw material leaving this white mark here now the next command command is we want to go to x80 i'll show you it here hold on this one we want to go to x80 and y10 to this coordinate and what we'll write is just x80 f a 200 which means the mill will move to x80 with a faster feed rate than when we plunged into raw material a rule of thumb is if you have your plunge at feed 100 when you move right or left you increase the feed rate by two times I'll show you it later but uh, the feed rate now is 200 and again every line from now on I will verify and you see this line is here next line I will go to coordinate let's see what coordinate I'll go I will go up to here which is x80 and y40 and I don't have to write x80 again because I'm already at x80 so I write y40 but writing x80 y40 will do no harm it'll just do the same so again verify verify it's done that next i will want to go to this point which i know it is already we want to go to x10 and y10 verify verify and now the mill has come here next line we go to y40 which is this coordinate here and then we want to go to x80 again every line I verify to make sure that it's doing what I want next line we go to x45 and y45 now if you can see when I change two coordinates it will move in a diagonal if I change one coordinate it will move in a straight line and now I go to x uh, 10 and y 40 verify verify and the last line will be uh, x uh, 80 and y 10 verify verify here we go now this is what we wanted to do here but we are not finished yet we want <coughs> we want to finish the program by writing a new line g0 z10 we go up make a space so you can see the z in red 
And then we go last line, or well, line before last, x0, y0. And then last line is m30, when I'll make a comment for m30 is end of program. So again, <clears throat> I verify, verify, and we see that the mill started and stopped at this position. Now, for a bonus, we can go to our run and edit screen. You can see here my program. Here is the 3D image, and I can actually run the machine. And you can see the machine running. You can scroll up, scroll down. I will move to see it more closely. Here we go. This is real feed rate. I cannot make it faster or slower. Well, usually I don't make it faster or slower. Hold on, I'll move it this way. We can see the machine is actually milling. And on the right hand side here in the simulation window, you can see what you've been doing before. The verify while the machine is moving you can see here your coordinates and here you can see the line it's making at the running at the moment current program line now it's going to y40 here you can see the tool it's tool 2 and the diameter is 3 millimeters and so on and so on. Let it finish here and we'll see the actual program. If you have the machine, you'll do the machine, you'll run the machine to make the piece. Here you can see the part time, it's taking me two minutes, three seconds to run this part. And this is true on the real machine as well. Okay, and then go Z up and go to zero, zero, and you get your program end.